Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at solving trigonometric equations and this is going to be a quite tricky video. You need to make sure you've watched my videos on cast diagrams and trigonometric identities before we continue. But if you have watched those already, we're more than happy to move on to example one. But if you haven't watched those yet, I really recommend watching that before we continue and I will link those in the description below. Okay, so let's look at the example. So we've got the equation two sine squared of x plus three cubed of x equals three. I'm going to solve this equation between minus two pi is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to two pi. Okay, so just a hint in the question, it is talking about radians because it gives you the bounds of x in radians. And we are going into the negatives and we're going to the positive. There's going to be most definitely repeated solutions here. So we're going to have to think about cast diagrams. Okay, at the moment, this equation, 2 sine squared of x plus cos of x is equal to 3. And at the moment, that's got sines and cos's in it. And that makes it a bit complicated, but what we should do is replace the sine squared of x with an equation for cos, cos because that will mean the equation only has cos's in it. And I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm immediately thinking of the Pythagorean identity because that come at that um, links sine squared and cos squared really nicely. Move the cos squared to the other side and now we have an equation for sine squared of x and we can replace the sine squared of x with 1 minus cos squared of x. Like this, and we substitute it in like this. And then we expand the brackets and what we've done so far is we replace the sine squared of x with cos squared of x so now our equation only has causes inside of it and that makes it far easier to solve. We take 3 off both sides, and we get it equal to 0, and it is now a quadratic. Well, it's looking like a quadratic, and we can solve that quadratic by factorising. Now, at the moment it says minus 2 in front of the cos squared of x, so I'm going to make everything negative, so the minus 2 is going to become positive 2, the positive 3 is going to be minus 3, and the minus 1 is going to be positive 1. So I make everything negative, swap all the signs, and I get this here. And now this is a quadratic, and we can factorise it to solve it. And this is a quadratic with a 2 in front of the squared part. If you're not confident with how to factorise that, you should watch my video on factorising how to quadratics, which I will link in the description below. But if you're happy, then all we do is factorise like this. You've got 2 cos of x minus 1 times cos of x minus 1 is equal to 0. If you're not convinced that works, if you're not happy with the math there, I will just ex uh, like you to expand the double bracket there and convince yourself that it does expand to be the same quadratic. But if you're happy, let's continue. I've got the first bracket must be equal to zero or the second bracket must be equal to zero because that's how quadratics work. I've got something times something is zero, therefore one of those somethings must be zero. I'm going to solve when these are equal to zero. So I move the minus one to the other side and then the divide by 2, I get cos of x equals a half. I can take the inverse of a half to get x. Similarly, on the other side, I get cos of x is minus 1 is equal to 0. Move the 1 to the other side, I get cos of x equals 1. And I do inverse cos of 1, I get this. Now, to solve this, I need to uh, memorise my table of special angles. And I've got that table here. This is the table you need to memorise of all your special angles. Now, if this is a calculator exam, you can just do inverse cos of a half and get the answer using your calculated radians. But this is probably a non-calculator exam, so we need to use our knowledge of special angles. And so this is my special angle table, and we're interested in when cos minus 1 of a half is uh, equal to x. I'm going to highlight a half on the table, and that's when uh, x is equal to pi over 3. And also interesting when cos of minus 1 is equal to uh, cos of minus 1 of 1 is equal to x. I'm highlighting cos of 1 there. And that's when x is 0 as well. Okay, so I've got uh, x is pi over 3 or x is 0. I've already got two solutions. And again, just to repeat that, I use my special table of values there. My special angles. If you've not memorised those, pause the video now and copy that down so you can memorise that fully for the exam. I've got cos... Uh, I've got x is pi over 3 and x is 0. I need to find when they repeat. So I'm going to use my cast diagram. Like this. 
Now, this is cos, this is all about cos, and cos repeats in the cos quadrant and the all quadrant. It's negative in the sine and tan quadrant, but interesting when it's positive, cos a half is positive and one is positive. So it's in the all and cos quadrant. Okay, so we've got x is pi over 3 there. That is our original solution. And so that's uh, going to repeat in the cos quadrant. So reflect it down into the cos quadrant like this. And that's when you go all the way around to pi over 2. Uh, sorry, 2 pi. But you don't go all the way around. You go backwards a little bit. You go pi over 3 backwards. So you get to subtract that. So you go all the way around 2 pi. And then backwards pi over 3. So 2 pi minus pi over 3 is uh, another solution. And we get to find that by making a common denominator. So you can write 2 pi as 6 pi over 3. 2 pi is the same as 6 pi over 3. Just making a common denominator here. And we subtract that and we get 5 pi over 3. Another solution is 5 pi over 3. Good. Now we also need to think about when it's uh, at solutions between 0 and minus 2 pi. So you have to do our cast diagram, diagram again, going from 0 to minus pi, 3 pi over 2, minus pi, minus pi over 2, and back to minus 2 pi. So I've changed the labels on my cast diagram to make them negative now. And so we're going backwards uh, from 0 to minus pi over 3 there. And that's one solution. And we've got another solution where it's in the all quadrant again, where it's going around all the way to minus 2 pi and backwards uh, pi over 3. So another solution at minus 2 pi plus pi over 3, which is minus 5 pi over 3 as well. And so you've got all four solutions uh, for when cos minus 1 is equal to a half between minus 2 pi and 2 pi. Perfect. Now we have to do the same for our x is equal to 0. And x equals to 0 is just this flat angle here when it's on the axis. And when does that repeat? Well, it's going to repeat when it's equal to 2 pi. And it's also going to repeat when it's equal to minus 2 pi. Because that's just how cast diagrams work. You go all the way around to get to 0. And when you get to 0 again, that's the same as going around 2 pi radians. Or if you go backwards, that's minus 2 pi radians. Perfect. So we've got another solution at minus 2 pi and another solution at 2 pi. Good. These are our seven solutions. And if you look at the uh, graph here, I can actually see that if you graph this function 2 sine squared of x plus 3 cos of x minus 3, we get these seven solutions. So the minus 2 pi, minus 5 pi over 3, minus pi over 3, 0, pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and 2 pi. They are our solutions. We've absolutely done this correct. Well done. Perfect. So that's the end of our video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and so you don't miss any future videos. Covering GCSE, A-level and IB maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos are scheduled very soon. If you're also interested, you can check out advancedmaths.com for more uh, revision resources to help you master your exams. Thank you for watching and good luck in your exams.